Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of ruptured appendix with sealed perforation. If appendix is not treated, it can rupture. As a result, bacteria are released into the abdomen and cause a serious infection. It can make the patient very sick and be hard to treat. You can see the ascending column as you are going to see the tracing of the ruptured appendix. A rupture spreads infection throughout the abdomen and can cause peritonitis. Possibly life-threatening, this condition requires immediate surgery to remove the mm -hmm. appendix and clean your abdominal cavity. A pocket of pus that forms in, in, in the abdomen. If your appendix burst, you may develop a pocket of infection that is abscess. Now you are going to see the cecum as the ascending column is traced downwards. Without surgery or antibiotics as might occur in a person in a remote location without access to modern medical care, the prognosis may not be good. For a ruptured appendicitis, the prognosis is more serious. Decades ago, a ruptured appendix was almost fetal, fatal. With the laparoscopic surgery, a patient is often able to resume normal activities in one to three days. An open surgery may require about two to four weeks mm -hmm. for recovery. With the ruptured appendix, it may take up up to six weeks or more. Now you are seeing a significant amount of free fluid seen that a small abscess. Now you can see the appendix also. Nowadays doctors have turned to surgery to treat appendicitis even though an inflamed appendix sometimes gets better on its own. A new report suggests that trying intravenous antibiotics first weeks as well as surgery for some people. Now you can see the collection of the fluid in the adjacent area of the appendix. which shows that appendix have ruptured, leaked and a communication is also visible. I will mark in a few moments the point of rupture or the communication with the peritoneal cavity. Now, Appendix is a small, thin, worm-like sac. It is located where small and large intestine connect the lower abdomen. On the right side, it is generally thought that it doesn't have any important function, so it can be removed without causing harmful effects, but the latest development shows, research shows that it has an important role in the immune mechanism. Now you can see the abscess around the inflamed appendix and this is the area of communication where, from where the fluid in the appendix has leaked out and has formed a small abscess or sealed perforation. Now, again you can see the fluid and the appendix, ruptured appendix.
If the opening to the appendix get blocked by some material from the intestine, it becomes irritated, swollen, and infected. Sometimes an infection of the appendix can cause a hole that allows the infection to spread to the rest of the abdomen. As in this case, this is called perforated or ruptured appendicitis. An ultrasound is a painless procedure that uses sound waves to provide images to identify organs within the body. Ultrasound can identify an enlarged appendix or an abscess. Nevertheless, during appendicitis, an enlarged inflamed appendix or abscess can be seen as the research shows in about 50% of the patients, but in expert hands with better equipment, the tear or ruptured point may be shown as you can see in this case. A rupture spreads infection throughout the abdomen causing peritonitis. Possibly life-threatening, this condition requires immediate surgery to remove the appendix and clear the abdominal cavity. A pocket of pus that forms in the abdomen. If the appendix bursts, the patient may develop a pocket of infection abscess as you, uh, you are going to see in this case. Now tests and procedures used to diagnose mm -hmm. appendix include mm -hmm. physical examination to assess the pain. Your doctor may apply gentle pressure on the painful area. Blood test. This allows the doctor to check for a high white blood cell count which may indicate an infection. Then there is urine test and imaging tests. Ultrasonography may be quite helpful. Predominantly present symptoms were right leg force of pain 95% cases and nausea in about 80% of the cases, vomiting in 73% of the cases with 63% of the patient presenting two days after onset of symptoms. Fever was present in 15% and only 31% of the patient gave a typical history to acute appendicitis or vague periabdominal pain. Not all people will have the same symptoms, but it is crucial that you see a doctor as quickly as possible according to John Hopkins Medicine. The appendix can rupture as quickly as 48 to 72 hours after the onset of symptoms. Although ultrasound is less accurate than the contrast enhanced CT scan, the findings can be appreciated in experienced hands. Diagnosis of perforated appendix relies mainly on demonstrating of right iliac fossa abscess in association with signs of appendicular inflammation and appendicolith. Thanks for watching. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.